Okay, in this video, I'm just going to be sh um, quick tutorial on how to actually denoise a volumetric um, render. Because basically, in the video before, what I was doing, um, it was to just a scene which didn't have, basically, it was just um, a diffuse and glossy. And there wasn't even any subsurface or transmittance. So now in this scene, this is a scene which doesn't seem to have much transmittance, but it does have subsurface and um, it's got volume scatter as well. And what you'll notice is that if you ever, if you get that um, node group from the B wide uh, volume, sorry, um, node pack, it doesn't have any inputs for, um, uh, for, well, it doesn't have anything for volumetrics at all. And basically, the and then to make things worse, I found another um, another node group which actually did do uh, volumetrics, but it was missing some input. So in the end, what I actually had to do is I had to sort of patch the B wide the sort of um, uh, the denoise the denoiser to add the other node group into it in, in order so that the it has volume support so that's what we've basically done now and all right let's get that. okay so basically this is the scene that i've set up and it, as you can see it i have it um the samples set to basically 48 samples so now if we go and render this with f12 Okay, it's like I mess things up slightly, but it's not a problem. Because actually, I think what it's complaining about is because I've got compositing on. So if you try again. Okay, so now it's doing the render. And remember, this is 48 samples and it's a night scene. So normally with night scenes, you need a huge amount of samples to get rid of the noise. And because I want to do this as part of an animation, I'd literally need a, a render farm to be able to render out this animation with any decent quality. So of course, given the choice between splashing up for a render farm and setting up a node group i think i know which one i would i would choose in order to try to um get a decent render okay so so this is rendering out with the volumetric parts and as you can see the volumetric so very noisy okay and of course there's there's no way you'd want to have it looking this bad but then without trying to do something with the denoiser you then have to have it rendering for a month right so, so that's what it, that's what the render looks like at 48 samples and it only took well one minute 24 to render which isn't too bad so you can get a few thousand frames within a sort of you know a couple of days which isn't that bad really because two days is all right is certainly quicker than a month so if we now um if we now go to the compositor what i need to do is just add in a Let's get a render layer in. 
and as as before you've noticed that at the moment the um when you look at the input let me just do shift space so you can see it better so when you look at the inputs all you have is the image the alpha and z so of course that isn't much use because if we want to actually do the denoising this is the node this is the current node that i'd have to use so if you do shift a then in the group and then add a the pass combine denoiser and as you can see it has quite a um quite a few inputs on it so obviously We're a bit short of outputs from our render layer, so what we have to do is, of course, turn on all the ones which are necessary. So if we go to the render layers tab, and so we need the the AO emit your emission environment with all the subserves transmission and glossy diffuse. And also in the normal as well. Yeah, that should do. So basically now we have our um Yeah, so so we have all what we need. And as you can see there's um because this is basically the pass combine denoiser um but if you actually if i actually tab into it see there's an extra part down here there's an extra part here which actually isn't a part of the original because i had to put that in in order for the volume part to actually work as you can see it looks like a bit of a mess but it certainly is worth the effort Okay, so I'm just adding a viewer node so that we can see what's going on. And so at the moment, if we so we can take the image, and there we have our original image. And if I do Control Shift and click, it will show you the other passes and what they look like. There's no alpha, no Z, normal's black. As you can see, everything's black, and of course, the reason for that is because we need to render it again. So, just F12 to do a render so that it picks up all the passes. And mainly this scene is quite heavy, so it does actually take a while. And this is even without turning on the grass, which makes it even worse. And the trees. Okay, so there it is again with all that lovely noise. And the thing about it is that it is actually worth, or it was worth bothering to put the extra volumetry into that node group because, as you can see, it's actually the volumetrics that has the most noise in it. So that, of course, is the one that you really need the denoising for. So the fact it was missing was a bit inconvenient okay so now when we go through 
So you control click and go through. Yeah, you can see now it's actually picking up all the different passes. But as you notice, as you go through, there is no volumetric pass. The only place the volumetric appears is in the original image. And that's the problem. So that's why the actual, I had to put the volumetric, basically what the node group does inside here is it splits out the, the volume and then feeds it through the denoiser and then, then it comes back through into the output. Okay, so now I'm just going to connect everything up. Put the image in. It's close, but as you can see, the blur is actually quite bad. And the reason for that is because the um, you need the normal in order to control. And this is that effectively where the magic happens. Because this is the one that gives you the detail back. And you see the way it just sharpens up all of the, um, sharpens up all of the sort of the outlines for the volumetrics. And so there you have it. So I'm just going to do a quick render so you can see the difference. So we have all the lovely noise there as as it renders. So no longer do you have to render your volumetrics for that like hours on end just to get rid of the noise. Now you can have a denoiser which and then you can render your volumetrics with like twenty samples, which is is, is something which can make such a huge difference and you can not, not bother giving the render farm your money. Of course the other thing is if you means now you can render an animation which is like 10 times longer if you are using the render farm. And if you watch when it, when it does the composite at the end Yeah, I just forgot something. Have to actually turn it on. That's one thing to remember. To actually turn it on. Try one more time.
How many times? Okay. Yeah, no. I forgot to. Eventually, I'll, I'll get there. Okay, one more time. This is one thing about compositing is having to remember all these different things. Because when you don't use the compositor, it's easy. You just press F12, it renders and drops on. But once you start to use the compositor, there's, there's other things you can forget to do. So I'm just doing this just so you can see the how big the difference is between um, all the, that lovely volumetric noise and the end result. And of course, you'd never be able to do this with post-processing because, of course, the minute you try and blur it, it would it would blur. Because look at if you look at the these. Um, these objects here, see the noise is on top of those objects. So if you try to get rid of that noise with post processing, you destroy them basically. But when you use the compositor, as you'll see what happens, is when it composites it, it actually preserves. So you get a nice smooth volumetric and it's cleaned up or almost like magic. And yet the detail of the the objects which are in the volume is 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 completely there and, and and it doesn't touch it at all and that effectively is the magic of the pass combined denoiser with the volumetric enhancement well volumetric enhancement it basically it's just a node group that I added from um another post. What I'll do is I'll put the links up for where I've got both of those node groups from and of course I'll put up the blend as well of everything combined together so you can give it a try as well okay thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one hopefully i'll have enough time to get get some more of these done okay see you